Hello everyone, Pancakes here, and welcome back to Let's Play Black Rose. So, once again, this was an indie game that I found on Game Jolt. It was recommended to me, um, and it had very good reviews. Anyway, let's read this. There are a lot of strange things I've seen around this place. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically. Most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something, and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Okay, guys, so please refresh my memory. Who exactly is Michael? Because I'm under, or I was under the impression that the main curator was Sullivan. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna read this. They still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuff the air. There aren't any windows in there, and it is the middle of summer. Um, no, I'm pretty sure you're right. And I can't blame, what was it, Conrad, for not wanting anything to do with the coffins, because as we've seen here, Myrtle is a real bitch. So we have to get down to the basement, I guess, and we also have to get down to the visitation room. But we need the second key to the visitation room. So, I don't know where to look for that. So, I'm going to check out the chapel here. And we've got a note. These, I don't believe, were here before. It turns out that Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Mrs. Raines had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's key card. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen. But then again, Mrs. Raines would be the one who would do that. 
I discovered earlier today that Devon had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Yep, he sounds like a real piece of work. So, okay, it sounds like Sullivan wasn't, like, the owner or whatever. He was just an employee that worked here for a long time. So I guess that makes sense. I don't think this was here before. Grief-stricken man killed by train after blinding himself. This is a really long one. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. They never buried either of them. Both are still here. That was scribbled in by someone. So this is a really disturbing newspaper article. The guy gouged his eyes out with scalpels after Myrtle died, and then he was killed by a train that severed him into three, three parts. That's pretty dark. Who the hell writes that in a newspaper? They say that if you take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he catches you. Okay, so just like the railroad. That sounds good. Thank you. That's great. Something's under the table. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. I don't know what that was. They won't find it. Ever. Visitation room two. Okay. They won't find whatever. Quit being vague. Was that Devin? Was that, was that the bratty little shit that I keep reading about? Or... Oh boy, what's going on here? I feel like something is about to happen. Oh god. Okay, that was not necessary. Alright, to the visitation room we shall go. Was this here before? No. What is this? So there's a key, and... Is this like... Oh, it's the coffin! Okay. There's a key in the coffin. So we have to grab the rose, I guess. And then... I don't know. Then we have to, uh... Wow. Saturn devours his child. An old, famous, and really depressing... Well, de yes, depressing, but really disturbing painting. So we have to grab the rose off the coffin, I guess. And then he will come out, and we will take the key? Is that, is that about right? So maybe this is why the, the atmosphere in here is so stifling. I mean, look at these paintings. They're a bit, I don't know, inappropriate for a funeral home. But hey, what do I know? All right, let's do it. Dare you, double dare you, double dare you, double dare you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. I'm going to do it. There's a black origami rose. Take it. Yeah, why not? Alright, Sullivan. What? Oh, fudge muffin. Whoa. This is cool. Sullivan James was blind as a bat. This is just like the Haunted Mansion in Sullivan Disneyland. James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan James is coming for you. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Is that Sullivan? I don't know. Grab him the key. Grab him the key and run it. Oh, shit. Where am I going? Okay. Oh, my God. He's still chasing me, isn't he? So, I guess this is just like Myrtle. I just need to stay away from him. My score is skyrocketing. Look at that. All right. So, I keep moving in circles. Okay, there he is. Maybe if I just keep leading him in circles, he'll leave me alone. Maybe he'll get bored and run away. Come on. Oh god, there he is. 
Just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep going. Oh shit. Okay, I think we did it. Something just fell where Sullivan was. What just fell? Let's go find out. Where was Sullivan? He was up here, right? Oh, what's that? It's a key card. Oh, okay. So that's the key card to the morgue. And I remember there was a door with a keypad down here. So that's probably where I'm going to have to go. All right. Let's see. Enter passcode. Huh? Where did we learn about a passcode? What what passcode? Okay. Count the lines between the lines. We got a couple tic-tac-toe boards here. So, okay, how many lines? I'm guessing we're, we're counting like the X's, and then we want to see how many lines are in each X. So that would be two lines per X, right? So then that would make it two, six, four, and four? Two, six, four, four? Is that what we're doing here? Let's see here. Two, six, four, four. Yes? No, nothing's happening. No. No, that's not it. So then maybe we need to include the circles in the passcode. So let's see here. So that would mean two, and maybe the circles are one? So that would be two, nine, uh, four, and seven? Two, nine, four, seven? Could that be it? Let's see here. Two, nine, four, seven. Bingo! Awesome. We got it. We got it, guys. We did it. Why? Why is this all black and white? Oh, okay. So this this is the morgue. This actually reminds me a lot of uh, Silent Hill Alchemia. Maybe it's because I had I just played that game, but the atmosphere here is quite similar. I got a real bad feeling about this place, though. Like, something is probably going to jump out from one of those cabinets. Okay, we got a note. Let's read it. Everyone here is dead. They've all been killed. Ghosts in this house are not like ghosts in other houses. If they're looking for something specific, their corpses actually get up. Someone threw the lockdown switch and I can't get out. I finally found the override key, but I'm not sure exactly where the switch is. Although, I might have an idea. I remember overhearing a conversation Michael was having a few months ago about something which was located underground. I'm confused as to whether or not this underground location is the main basement where Myrtle's coffin is. I went down there a while ago and looked around, but it appears to be mostly a storage space. Maybe I missed it. The basement is extremely dark, even with a flashlight. Maybe I need to go search again more thoroughly. I need to find the switch. My very life depends on it, as do the lives of many future wanderers if this doesn't stop. One of the most unsettling things about this funeral home is that after a while, you start to feel as though it's hanging by a thread and on the verge of collapsing. Prevented only by the mysterious force that fills the building. It's such a strange feeling. Maybe I'm not the same skeptic I was before working here. But where is that damn switch? In the deepest part of the house. Wow, thank you. Wow, great. Oh! Shit. <sighs> okay. Well, it's hard to be a skeptic when you literally see corpses reanimate. Just saying. Okay, so, let's see here. We, we've we got to go to the the basement where Myrtle's coffin was. Which, by the way, that's really weird. Like, they just casually leave the coffin in the basement. What the hell? Okay, X marks the spot. We've got 
What is this? Is this like the chapel? Like the seating arrangement in the chapel? It was, right? In which case, we need to get down to the chapel. No. What the? Oh, god damn it. He's back. Son of a bitch. Okay, we gotta go. Let's try the old... The old strategy here of just, you know, running around in circles. I would really prefer not to be caught here. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's still following me. And he's fast, too. God, he's fast. Okay, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Where is he? I can hear him. Okay. Okay, I think we're doing okay, guys. I think we're doing okay. I think we're staying away from him pretty well here. Just gotta keep going in circles here. Oh shit, he's coming this way! You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, okay. I didn't know he could switch directions. Okay, we did it. We did it. Is the coffin still there? No. Weird. What just happened? Like, the coffin just flew out of the room, and then it disappeared. Learn not to question it. I must not question it. Okay. Let's go to the chapel here and see if we can find this here key. Okay, anything gonna pop out here? Got a note. It is very important that anyone who saw or spoke with Devin the day he went missing come to me in my office immediately, as we need as much information on his whereabouts and behavior as soon as possible. If it helps, Devin would always become noticeably excited and start behaving suspiciously when he had plans of doing something or going somewhere he knew he wasn't supposed to. So Devin went missing. Devin disappeared somehow. So maybe the weird shadow that I saw earlier was in fact Devin. Okay, it's labeled Syslock. System lock, I guess. The override key in the deepest part of the house. Is that where Myrtle's coffin is? Or could this place go even deeper underground? I'm not sure about that. I guess we could start by checking out Myrtle's, like, coffin area. Wait, was this here before? The light within your eyes ignites me like a spark. It is them for which I'll search forever in the dark. What does that mean? Some kind of poetry. You guys hear that? Sounds like someone sobbing. Alright. Let's see. Maybe I missed a secret passage or something down here. Maybe there's some place that I need to go that I didn't see throughout my last time here, after all. The last time I was here, I uh, was a bit preoccupied. This time I'll try to be a bit more thorough. Presumably, uh, well, presuming, of course, that I don't get ambushed again by Myrtle, because that would suck a lot. But so far, everything here seems pretty solid. I don't see any way to go any deeper. Uh, let's see, is this note the same? Her eyes don't look in the eyes. Yep, that's the same. There's Myrtle's coffin. But the baby monitor's gone. Does that mean anything? Should I be concerned that the baby monitor is now gone? Is that something that I should be worried about? Okay. I don't know, guys. I'm going to look around some more. And, uh... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that I'm supposed to follow the crying sound. And I haven't actually checked the area underneath the stairwell here. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what happens. Huh? Oh, okay. We've got something. Part of the floor feels loose when I press on it. It's a sliding door. Okay, yes. Let's go ahead and press harder. Press as hard as you can. Let's do it.
An oppressive miasma is, uh, is emanating from down below. From this point forward, there's no turning back. That's all right. I'm not, I'm not planning on turning back. Let's go for it. Let's go. I'm not afraid. Let's do it. So, guys. I don't know where this is going to take me, but I think this is probably where I want to cut it off. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to get you guys another episode here pretty soon. And... Thanks for watching.